Welcome, welcome, my dear folks. I am called Ichius Wilmundsen, also known as Rai471, but now Ichius Wilmundsen. Take that as you will. So right now I'll be showing you guys how to install and run 3DS games on the Citra emulator. Citra is an open source emulator so you can contribute your own builds and then hope the developers would approve of them for the public use. So anyways, let's start. So first you have to go to the Citra website of course. I'll leave the links in the description below and click on download here. You'll be sent to this web page. There are two kinds. As you can see, there are two kinds of Citra builds here. So first, the nightly build. These ones are the safest because these ones are already approved, proven by the devs that are already stable. Unlike this one, however, the Bleeding Edge builds, they're the most recent ones, but they're still not approved yet. So to be safe, we go over to the nightly builds. So yeah. So we go here to the the latest one which was six days ago and then click the corresponding OS that you have if you have Windows you click this panel over here or if you have a Mac you click the Apple one and stuff so what I did here is just click this and then it will download directly yeah but I already have it so I'll show you where it is and what it contains anyways once you downloaded the Citra emulator that corresponds to your OS, this is what you get. I already put it on my desktop here. Citra dash window, Windows dash MSV, and blah blah blah. So, anyways, I'll open it. You can see here there's lots of files that you have to extract because you can you know you can't run the emulator yet unless you extract it first from the RAR. So you have to make a folder like so. Okay, here, I already opened my Citra folder, and then you just have to extract the files into this folder right here. So, what you want to run is the Citra-Qt. I really don't know what this does. It just opens a command console and then just disappears. Anyways, you click this and then it runs. Yeah. You have to let it run. Okay. So right now, how can how can you even run the C2 emulator without even having a game yet, right? So I'll be showing you guys where to download those 3DS ROMs. So well, like before from the previous tutorial, this is what I showed you, and this is where I'm going to show you again. Portal ROMs, yeah, they also offer 3DS ROMs for you. If you didn't notice, they also suggest what emulator you can try it out on yeah if you didn't get the hint so anyways at first when you open up portal roms you'll be greeted with um, a foreign language if you're not into Spanish or Portuguese so you know if you want to change it you just click English or this ones here so anyways yeah you go to 3ds click roms and this is where this is what you see so there's a list of games that you can try out on so let's go on and try I forgot I was so blind so anyways the first one that I downloaded was Kingdom Hearts 3D because I'm a Kingdom Hearts fan yeah but you know I don't have the luxury to buy a console to play this game this is what I did here is I just chose one of the download links here here this one right here I click this and then you'll be sent to this web page and you just click OK and there you have to wait 90 seconds or at at most 100 seconds for the torrent link and that's and that's how you download it really you have to download it using torrent if you don't trust torrent i'm sorry guys but you have to find your own websites to find the 3d roms or you can if you have your own console you can dump the game files into the computer and convert it into a executable file so I've, after I've waited for a hundred seconds now you click download and then there there's the torrent link there I'll show you where to where I've downloaded it I already have it so yeah so this is where I placed it here on the desktop this is what I got don't mind this is just a torrent part and this is, is the one that you need to, you know, run. 
So it's a .3ds file and this is what it's called. If you want to launch a certain game, you go to file, click load file. Then hey 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 over here. So so the executable files by the way uh, is .3ds, .3dsx, .elf, .axx, .cci, .cxi and .app. If they're not one of those, you'll have to refer to the Citrafac website web page and then check if they actually work. Anyways, you go here, click on this, and there it runs. See, see that, see that. So, anyways, just some, just some tips for you folks. You know, um, if you want to pause the emulation, you just click on emulation and click pause. And then, if you want to configure and map your keys, the keyboards to the controls, you go to configure, and here, go to input, and this is where you map your controls. And also, if you want to you know um, change the resolution if you like to you know make it go faster choose native or if you want a higher quality go to uh, this one <laughs> or you can just click auto you know it will just adjust to the window size and yeah if you want the layout to have a single screen uh, or a default one where you can see both screens or a large screen the one that you're looking at currently this is the large screen layout so yeah and yeah and here's the debugging yeah this is for for advanced users and I really and I'm still don't get that yet so anyways yeah that's about it guys yeah it's kinda slow my computers are a little bit you know wow look at that Anyways, that's about it for this tutorial video. Thanks for watching. Hope you have learned from this tutorial and hope you have a happy emulating, guys. So, this is Etrius Wilmington, also known as Rifle 71 But call me Etrius Wilmington from now on. Take that as you will. Peace! I'm out.